Well, quickly, I'll introduce myself. My name is Harriet Harvey Horn. I am co-chair of the amazing San Francisco Bay Area chapter of the Climate Reality Project, along with my co-chair, Taryn McGrew. I will let her introduce herself. Right. Good evening, and thank you, and, and welcome to the Climate Reality Bay Area chapter. Uh, as uh, Harriet said, I'm Tara McGrew, and I'm co-chairing alongside her. It's been a great uh, run, um, and we're excited to have you here tonight. Um, a part of our agenda, uh, we always like to uh, provide a land acknowledgement. And for those of you who are coming off training and have been a part of the training, I hope that you will, um, we're just modeling after the, the training platform, but hope that you will continue to uh, become more aware of the land that uh, you reside on. Uh, what I did provide for you in the chat is a um, link uh, where you can find where your territory is here in the Bay Area, which is a lonely land, uh, but specifically the uh, tribe of which uh, you are uh, residing, um, it will get more specific there. So with that, I just like to say that um, I currently live in Oakland, California, uh, in the Bushrot neighborhood, which is the Ohlone Chochinya uh, territory. Um, I like to always give thanks to uh, the Ohlone people, uh, the indigenous uh, people that were the stewards of the land of which we all re we all reside, uh, thanking them for uh, taking care of it. Um, I always state that I live on a creek, and um, I am thankful for the Ohlone people who were stewards of that creek that brought me to this particular time uh, tonight, this moment and just acknowledging um, their unfortunate demise, but also giving thanks that they for centuries uh, tended to the land that we all reside. So with that, thank you. Thank Wonderful. you. Thank you. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We're happy you're here. We hope you have a favorite beverage you're enjoying. Um, we're just glad to see you all. So this evening, like I said, we really want this to be more about connecting and getting to meet other people, meet our leadership team, and our, we'll find out about our uh, different chapter efforts. Um, so we're, we're going to keep kind of the talking as, as minimal as we can. Uh, we were going to do the speed networking, no problem. Uh, we are now, we will next go into a green ring ceremony that Taryn will uh, present for our newly minted climate reality leaders. Uh, and then we'll go into just a very brief overview of CRBA, for those of you who don't know, Climate Reality Bay Area, the chapter. And then each of our team leaders will introduce their uh, functions within the chapter and tell you about ways that you can engage. We will then move into those two breakout sessions that I mentioned earlier. Uh, first, we're calling that the open house where you can uh, go to any room you're interested in learning more about, you can come back out into the waiting room and go into another if you wanna split your time between two different teams. And then um, after that, we'll go into our county networking breakouts just for socialization and enjoy the rest of this happy hour together. And then we will close with Q&A, just some uh, basic chapter updates. So with that, I'm gonna stop screen sharing. I'm gonna let Taryn uh, talk about green, the green ring. Awesome. Well, first and foremost, I want to congratulate uh, those of you who just uh, came off of the virtual uh, training. Uh, how many tonight uh, just graduated? Would you raise your hand so we could get a feel? Awesome. A round of applause. Wow. Yay. Well, thank you so very much for your commitment. Uh, in the training and uh, becoming uh, climate reality leaders. Uh, I am, uh, I wanted to know now that you have all finished the platform, have you, for those of you who rose your hands, uh, did you receive your certificate yet? I got my certificate as a mentor. This is how it looks. Have you received your certificate? Yes. I have. Okay, great. And 
And the next, how many of you guys received this beautiful ring, this beautiful pin yet? You have, awesome. Or have you received instructions uh, on how to obtain it? And so you know what to do next to, re to receive this for those of you who uh, graduated. If not, I'm gonna put in the chat for you uh, where you can, your next steps uh, in obtaining it because that's what I am going to um, just say again. Uh, thank you. Uh, just to give you a brief dis uh, description, um, what the green ring symbolizes. I'm sure that you guys all saw uh, former United States Vice President Al Gore wearing his distinctively during the training, during the live training. And um, I wear mine as well, as, as I wish all of you to wear it with honor and distinction, because what it represents, it is a symbol of that we are supporters of and we are committed to climate action. Um, just a little history, the green ring is a part of the climate realities logo um, where it encircles, the circle is the globe to which we are all connected. And it represents the atmosphere that we are all fighting to protect. And that is our planet Earth. It was designed in 2013. And if you go, I love it. It's a nice little piece of jewelry. It's just complimentary. It's classy. And it's just, it's just tasteful. But for those of you who have graduated and will be receiving it, I want you to imagine that you were, uh, this is the last part of a live training of which some of us I saw uh, before COVID-19 who graduated uh, 2017. I was in 2018 in Los Angeles. Well, the portion of the training is where um, our CEO, Ken Berlin would come to the stage and the mentors would, we would be instructed to give our mentees the green ring. And at that time we would give it to them and then we'd all, the room would get quiet and this is what he would say, as I am saying to you, new graduates, wear this pin as a symbol of your commitment to help spread the reality of the climate crisis. Wear it and you are taking a stand for action. Wear it and together we can change the world. So with that, I like to say, as our CEO, Ken Berlin would say, congratulations, you are formally a climate reality leader. Thank you for being a part of the Climate Reality Projects membership. And most importantly, thank you for being a part now of the Climate Reality Bay Area Project. Thanks, congratulations. Excellent. Yes, congratulations, everyone. All right, I'm going to share screen again. We'll move on into our little brief chapter overview. All right, moving ahead. Okay, so our chapter at a glance, it was founded in August of 2017. It was one of the first, if not the first of all uh, climate reality chapters. Uh, our geographic area is the greater Bay Area region eight counties, and you can see those eight counties circled here. This is our kind of official area where we take action. We also have a chapter in the South Bay of, called the Silicon Valley chapter that covers Santa Clara County, Santa Cruz, Monterey, San Benito, the, the South counties. Um, of course, members are welcome to join any chapter they like. I personally joined two when I came out of training back in 2018. So, um, but as far as the uh, actions in the, the the activities that we take on, we take on uh, purposeful activities in these eight counties. We have over 1,200 members, and about half of those are cli uh, trained climate reality leaders. And our organization, we have 10 working teams. We have five county squads that take action um, in their local regions. And then we also have 17 leaders on our leadership team. So we really have a well-developed um, amazing chapter. 
Uh, so this is what our membership has looked like over time since it was founded. It's uh, been on a very nice growth rate. And like I said, we're now at 1200. And this is what the uh, distribution looks like as far as membership goes. And as I mentioned, you can see here that um, uh, Santa Clara is on this list. We do have a number of members that are Santa Clara residents, Santa Clara County residents and Santa Cruz County. Uh, and they are welcome to participate as are all of you in any of our activities. So for this year, we really felt like this was a very unique and special year of opportunity for climate action. And our uh, chapter mission is in line with that, to take full advantage of the unique opportunity the Bay Area has at this moment in 2021 to influence unprecedented progress on climate action, climate justice, and policy changes, to lead the world in adopting and proving the viability and benefits of climate crisis and climate justice solutions. We really feel like the Bay Area uh, is in a position to truly lead California and to then lead the world. And we wanna be um, a driving force behind that. So we have a number of chapter teams, as I mentioned, and working groups roughly categorized in two categories, action teams and community engagement. Uh, you're going to be meeting the various team leaders of these working groups in a minute. I'll just read them off. Alliances is a new effort this year. We have a business engagement team. We have climate justice. We also have a policy action team. We have county squads, as I mentioned earlier. We have a dedicated team to our climate moment, which is a federal action, uh, legislation action effort this year, uh, over the next maybe two years, to take advantage of that great opportunity at the federal level. And then uh, youth climate action, those are our action teams. And then community engagement is our presentations team who will support our uh, climate rally leaders in being uh, developing their skills and getting access to great resources for giving presentations. Our membership engagement team, uh, we have a communications team that's doing great work. I'll be talking about that in a minute. And then we have our events team. And there's a link there to where to uh, learn more. So this is what our amazing leadership team looks like. These are just uh, incredible people. It's such a pleasure to work with all of them. We are now going to, I'm gonna stop screen sharing and we will start, oops, sorry. We will stop sharing, wrong button. And um, now we'll go into letting each, we're gonna have kind of a speed, speed dial session with each of our leaders talking for one minute about what they do. We just wanna give you that brief pitch and let everybody then join in the breakouts to have a, a more detailed discussion. So we'll start with Kevin Morrison, our Alliances Chair. Well, thank you very much. Start the clock. <laughs> Um, I want to say, first of all, thank you, because um, this is a great opportunity for everybody who's here to say hi and meet each other and celebrate our leadership. Um, I am the Alliances Chair, and to state the obvious, Alliances is about connections. Um, we're talking about connections with other climate organizations like 350 Bay Area, just for an example, connections with universities like Presidio Graduate School, um, connections with community groups like Rotary, a bunch of connections and alliances. Our first project has been organizing our database, and I'll put that into the chat. So if you want to sort of poke around and see what that's about before too long, you can see that. Um, and then our next project is top secret. Um, come see me in our breakout and we'll tell you more about it. That's Whoa, it. Great teaser. Excellent. All right. So we will now hear from uh, Verda Alexander, who is part of our, she's one of our business engagement chairs. Hi everyone and welcome and congratulations to those of you that just finished your training. So I trained in last J July and August, along with my co-chair, Mary, we both trained, we're super eager beavers and we joined, I joined the policy action squad here in the East Bay. I'm in Orinda in the East Bay and Mary's in San Francisco. And we quickly also joined to about the same time the business engagement team. And before we knew it, we found ourselves as co-chairs in January, not quite knowing what we'd signed up for. But we both, what's interesting is we both come from this work, future of work. She, her, she works for HP and it's the future of work of technology. And I do future of work of actually workplace of, of how, how you work in your, in your business. And 
I love what we do because I love business and I like kind of this idea of merging climate action with business action. And our big focus is engaging the Bay Area business community to take action. And we're promoting, we're trying to promote change through not only educating through these presentations, but also encouraging organizations on the need to act and trying to inspire employees to speak up. And our biggest, one of our biggest areas of focus, we had a great meeting last night, is getting employees to advocate for big companies to back climate legislation. We think that's the, the fastest and best way to really move the needle with climate action. And that's what we're trying to do. And if you're interested, if you're a business person or interested in business, we would love to have you on the business engagement team. We meet every third Wednesday of the month. Wonderful, thank you, Verda. All right, let's hear next from Alma about our climate justice team. Hello, everyone. 안녕하세요, 여러분. Uh, my name is Alma Sungi Beck or Peck Sungi. 저는 Peck Sungi입니다. Um, I've been climate justice co-chair since March 2020, and I graduated from the March 2019 Atlanta training with Taryn as my mentor. And um, actually, Helena, if some people know Helena Berecki, who is on the San Francisco policy action team, and she was at our table together. Um, I am, we have now have a new informal name for our climate justice team, which is Bangtang Kijongtang. And if anyone knows me, I'm a huge K-pop fan and I'm a fan of BTS and their name is actually Bantan Sonyontan. So we're going to start calling ourselves the BTG. That's informal, but that, that technical, that actually literally means the bulletproof climate justice team. Um, we have fun. That's Leona, <clears throat> climate justice Bangtan Kijongtan with me. Um, and climate justice was really part of everything we do in the chapter. And for those who recently graduated from the training, you saw how much it was closely integrated with everything that the organization does. So we think about um, ending racism and economic injustice and how it's related and key to ending the global climate crisis. Um, we meet as a team the first Wednesday of every month at 5.30. Um, you can find information of how to reach me through the website when you go to how to reach us and you go to climate justice and you press the button, it literally will create an email for you to email me. Um, we'd love to have you join the team. It's fun. People talk about their individual projects and we talk about the chapter projects. And for our chapter, we have three main things we're working on. We have an indigenous voices project. So we had our first indigenous voices speaker who came on Monday this week, Jim Warren, who is a internationally acclaimed documentary filmmaker and a former NFL player. And he is um, Oglaga Lakota Sioux and talked about US native history. We have a monthly indigenous voices reading and discussion group. Uh, and we also have a project where we're partnering with some of the local environmental justice organizations around some of the waterfront radioactive and toxic waste cleanup issues, which are already polluting communities, mostly BIPOC, Black, Indigenous, and people of color communities due to ocean rise. Um, the last thing is that we have a, um, we do regular quarterly diversity, and equity, inclusion, and justice trainings. So if you want to hear more and you want to have fun and you want to join the Bangtang Kijongtang, please contact me. Excellent. Wonderful. And I might as well mention too, since Alma did mention the, the Get Involved page of the website uh, has a, those types of buttons for all of our tap chapter teams. So that's a place to uh, get in touch with any of our chapter leaders. We will move on to, oh, to me, I'm going to cover uh, communications. Uh, unfortunately, our, our communications chair has been called out on some family matters. So um, I hope you'll forgive me for reading, but I want to make sure I get it right. Uh, so our uh, communications team drives awareness throughout the Bay Area community about what we do, how we do it, and highlight opportunities available for people to advocate. Uh, the communications team creates informational content, of course, and highlights advocacy work done by the Climate Reality uh, chapter members, as well as opportunities for people to advocate through our website, through newsletters, and through social media outreach. Our website, if uh, most of you would have visited there to register for this, you probably noticed it's a pretty well-developed website and we're very proud of it. It gets about 1600 page views a month. Uh, we also have a social media presence on Facebook with about 700 followers. And now we have um, newly introduced uh, presence on all of the major social media platforms. So there's a lot going on with our, our communications efforts. Uh, of course, they're always looking for people that are, have marketing skills, writing skills, creative skills, 
social media skills, given that we're just launching, launching these platforms. They welcome your help. This is our lobby. This is a place that every single member and a great number of the greater San Francisco Bay Area community members visit it, visits. And um, it's, a, it's a great part of the chapter to be involved in. And I will be in the room where we'll be talking about communications later too, if you have more questions. So that is communications. We will move on next to events. Oh, Chelsea, you want to tell us about the events team? Hi. Hello, my name is Hello. Chelsea and I'm the co-chair for the events team. Uh, my partner is Carolyn. She is out tonight, uh, personal reasons, and uh, it's a fun team. Um, she and I, we connect uh, probably at least uh, once a week. Uh, we're both very, very busy uh, because we have full-time jobs, but we love to have uh, more uh, co-chairs joining our team. We basically support the um, events, whether it's in person or on Zoom. Uh, of course, right now, because we are not yet um, back to the normal level yet where we actually meet in person, but eventually we will. Um, and we will start supporting the in-person events as well. Um, we basically help out with the, like what we what I'm doing right now with, with the Zoom, uh, help hosting the Zoom and making sure that uh, we have the recordings up, uploaded on the website and on YouTube. Um, it's, it's right now, it's a work in progress. And uh, it's fun in a sense that Carol and I, we have a lot in common as parents and moms, and we chat about other things as well, but we hope to have a, a weekly uh, in-person meetup eventually soon. So uh, maybe like a happy hour, weekly happy hour, but right now mm. it's just on Zoom. So I hope you guys consider joining our team. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Chelsea. Yeah, the events you'll see later we have a really full slate of incredible events and ways for people, people to engage in multiple ways. Um, so that is really another very key aspect of our chapter. Um, membership engagement, Mary Ruth Gross is our chair. Membership engagement. Um, most of you got the welcome to the Climate Reality Bay Area welcome letter. Now that's me. I, uh, I send that out. I just keep track of the database. And if you like calling people if you like contacting people and informing them of what's going on and finding out what they're really interested in and and, and how they can how you know communicating with them about how they can get involved this uh, is a committee to join i have to admit you'll be joining us at the ground floor and you get to help build how do we actually communicate with new members with existing members as well and uh reach out for people to get engaged and it they're they're good calls to make they're not fundraising calls you know people are so relieved to talk to you when you're not asking for money so if you want to do that kind of call come join with me and harriet in the communications events and membership uh, breakout yeah that'll be room number one <laughs> thank you mary Ruth. Um, all right, we'll go with the policy action team. And this would be for local and state level action. And Hi there. Bonnie, yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Bonnie and live in Solano County on the original land of the Patwin people. Our county policy action teams focus on taking action at the city and county levels, targeting local governing bodies with greenhouse gas, reducing policy, uh, uh, greenhouse gas, reducing policy ask. Our Bay Area chapter action theme for 2021 is building electrification to eliminate natural gas and buildings and power them instead with 100% renewable clean energy. Our action, one action I've personally taken around this is meeting with one of our county supervisors who sits on the Bay Area Air Quality Management Board to ask them to support regulations to convert gas to electric appliances and new construction and replacements. Our Solano action team has done a number of actions and we work closely with other groups and also have some present and past elected officials as part of our team. Join our policy action uh, breakout room to find out about specific actions that you can take 
and also RSVP for our May 25th chapter-wide policy action team Zoom meeting. I'll put the registration uh, link in the chat and hope to see you later. Great. Thank you, Thank you so much, Bonnie. All right, we will move on next to our amazing presentations team. Gary and Jim. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Gary. And uh, I am uh, a co-chair of the presentations team with Jim Leach, who I don't think is on this call. Um, anyway, we are all things presentations. And for those of you who are new, which is primarily everyone, um, pre presentations really are the original active leadership. When I was trained in Toronto six years ago, um, really the only action that people took was to give presentations in their community to churches, to schools, to businesses, whomever it might be. And uh, it's still a very, very important um, activity that we do. Um, what Jim and I do are really provide presentation assistance. If anyone um, would like some help with resources, we have plenty um, of slides, customized slides, um, pre-arranged slideshows. Um, we will co-present with people, um, new leaders who'd like to uh, have some assistance um, and uh, kind of get their feet wet. We do a few specific things. We also conduct what's called a boot camp training, um, which you'll all be invited to, I think in June or July, we haven't set the date yet, where we spend a few hours um, with new climate reality leaders to give them really on the ground training um, in how to get started, how to find and how to master your presentation um, and the sort. Uh, we also lead 24 hours of reality, which is an activity that the entire organization worldwide conducts um, in a one 24 hour period where we do as many um, presentations as we can, and they're in the thousands, that is worldwide. Um, and then last thing I can mention is that we're working on a new tool called a, a slide bank, where what we're doing is collecting customized slides from all of the senior presenters um, who have gone above and beyond what we get from Al Gore and uh, create customized slides that are localized or on a particular topic. Um, that drill down a little bit. And uh, we're gonna put that on the website and uh, enable anybody in the chapter to use that to augment their presentation. So if you wanna hear more, check me out. Excellent. Thank you, Gary. All right, let's hear from Karen Harrington who is our liaison for the Our, our Climate Moment campaign. Oh, you're muted. There we go, now you can Yay. hear. It. Well, welcome to Climate Reality Bay Area, and um, it's wonderful to have new members and congratulations on those of you who just did training. So our Climate Moment is a brand new campaign, and it's an opportunity to engage at the federal level. Um, why is this our moment? It's our moment because we have a new administration. President Biden is deeply committed to climate and climate justice action and legislation. It's represented in his cabinet picks and his agency heads. Um, and we have Congress. We have majorities in both, mem uh, both houses of Congress at the moment. So, but this is really is our moment because we have two years before the midterm elections and, and those are already heating up. So it's critical that we spend a couple of years here to really focus on legislation. Um, and I think it, it's exciting. It's exciting to work at this level. So we've begun building our team um, and one of the things we do is we work with our Climate Moment staff at headquarters and they, um, they promote actions for us to take. And one example is we participated in a nationwide call-in day to our members of Congress to act on climate. So every couple of weeks they will send us an action and then we um, broadcast that to membership for participation. Um, and then we have a um, team that we're developing here and we are, developing tools to track these uh, meetings that we'll be having. We have three set up in the next couple of weeks. It's pretty exciting. First two are next week. 
and um, they are in collaboration with other groups. So that'll be a big part of what we do is to work with other local climate change organizations. We get a lot of support from headquarters. Um, they give us a calendar and they give us templates of um, information of how to use information on congress.gov and uh, agendas that we can use when we meet with our members of Congress. Um, and we're already seeing far reaching bills, uh, bills such as the Thrive Act. You know, this is a transformative economic recovery package and it's being discussed now in Congress. So this is our chance to talk about that with, our, um, with Congress, to turn these ideas and this legislation into reality. I think it's an exciting time to be a climate leader. Um, so let me know if you're interested. We'd love to have you join the team. And we have a couple of members on tonight. Alice is here and Audrey. In fact, Audrey is heading up communication. So you'll be hearing a lot more from her um, very soon as a new member of Climate Reality Bay Area. Excellent. Thank you so much, Karen. And then we will uh, round it all out with the Youth Climate Action and Ms. Alice Sun. Hi, thanks everyone. Um, so welcome and uh, so great to have you all here as new members, especially any of you youth members out there and congratulations again on earning your green rings. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and how I came to this uh, youth climate action team and literally I uh, trained in 2018 in LA, but in 2020 last year I had the pleasure of mentoring uh, uh, 16 or so high school students. I was expecting adults, but there I go. I uh, was inspired by these youth and these high school leaders. And so they actually helped um, make my mind up to uh, help co-found this group, the YCAT, the Youth Climate Action Team. And together um, we're bringing together the adult mentors as well as the youth from all over the Bay Area to join together for you guys um, to give you support and an opportunity to create your own initiatives in this climate movement. So we're not here to tell you what to do, but we're here to offer you all the resources and support you need. So it's a lot of fun. You can meet a lot of new friends. Um, we meet every second Friday um, between 5 and 6 p.m. So our next meeting is June 11th. So plenty of time to sign up. Three things I want to tell you. So the cool thing is that you get to choose what initiatives you want to work on. We, we're going to select two or three initiatives. We've got one green schools campaign going on now, but um, we, we have two more openings for big initiatives. We need your, your um, insights. And second thing is um, you get to meet a lot of cool friends. And a lot of these folks are going to carry on their relationships um, way beyond uh, YCAT. And the third one is we're going to be recruiting for three new co-chairs. Eventually, we want to have the youth leaders themselves leading this team. So welcome and please reach out to us and come to our next meeting. Thank you. So just basically engage with our Climate Reality Bay Area chapter. It's a rewarding experience. Uh, there are a number of ways to do that. First, you can tune into our chapter communications. That one's the one that's just the easiest to do. Uh, falls in your lap. We have emails, newsletters that come out, announcements, calls to action over email and online. We have our amazing website and we also are all over social media now. So uh, tune into those and I have some links coming up later uh, to um, for your information on that. Second, attend or participate in our chapter events. We have a number of these. I'm going to give you some details about them coming up. Uh, learn about climate and climate justice issues and solutions. Develop your skills in public speaking, social media, writing letters to editors, and let me get rid of the breakout room page so we can read the rest of that, and meeting with elected officials. We have workshops and all kinds of great ways to engage. Take action. Number one, that's why we're all here. We know this matters and this is the time to be doing it, so that's a way to do that. And also socialize. We're here because we um, want to connect with others. Volunteer join or start a chapter working group. You've already learned a little bit about those this evening. Put your passion and talents to work. Connect with others in, in our common cause, of course, and have fun. It's really not worth it unless you can make it fun. Fourth, engage with the Climate Reality Leadership Corps. Most of you have attended leadership training, but not all, so that's a recommendation. And also, if you have been trained, uh, become a leadership mentor. 
So those are all ways you can engage. Barry, I chapter, we have a bunch of great events coming up. I'm just gonna go over these quickly. We have another one of these open houses Saturday morning at 1030. Come join us again. You can meet some other people and um, uh, I'm spread the word. Tuesday, May 25th, we have an all chapter policy action team Zoom meeting. Uh, we've learned a little bit about that this evening. Sunday, June 6th, we have a climate justice workshop that uh, Alma mentioned that will be um, really interesting and engaging. Also on June 20th, we have another um, installment of the Indigenous Voices Reading and Listening Circle that Alma mentioned. June 21st, this is tentative at this point, um, but we are hoping to feature Dr. Mark Jacobson from Stanford University uh, to a renowned expert to talk about a just transition to clean energy in California. And then Gary mentioned also about the upcoming presentations workshop that we're in the process of scheduling in late June or early July. And here are all of our links and our uh, social media handles. So please check us out and um, sign up. And we are here for your questions and answers and any, um, any kind of information we can provide. But I want, oh, and Taryn, you want to just uh, close us out with a thank you? Oh, for sure. Uh, thank you. Um, we're so excited about you uh, joining uh, the Climate Reality Bay Area chapter. We look forward to working with each and every one of you, uh, whatever we can do to make it um, one of the greatest experiences for you. Please uh, let Harriet and I know. And again, congratulations. Mm -hmm.